Hello, welcome to SwiftCAD Code Factory. In this video is all about how to make an app with the NASA API which is of having a meteor landings around the world. So what I have is an app which is having as you can see on the screen. It's an app with a image slider or a page slider whatever you take it like it is and it, when you click on the get started it will go to a table view which is having a list of meteor landings around the world and uh, this is all the list of uh, meteors when you click on the cell which is having a folder dot folder like and it will show a pin located uh, location in the map which is fetched by a latitude or longitude by geolocation yeah just on a click and if you click back it will be folded back again it's a basic symbol app with the NASA API of meteor landings this video is meant for a beginner or a fresher iOS developer who is looking for a job he can make use of this source code and show it to the recruiter I hope it works this actually this assignment is given by an Irish recruiter to me that's why I made this video so unlike other videos I am not going to write each and every code instead I have given in my video description about its full source code in a github repository so if you check in the description you can uh, find a github repository which is having the full source code you can just uh, clone it or uh, download it and uh, you can just simply run the project so what I have is uh, I have given in the description about the API documentation JSON administration all the links which I have listed over here this is about uh, NASA open data portal when you click its uh, meteor landings which is having the geolocation of uh, all the data is listed over here there are more than 45,000 meteor landings around the world so far I hope so these are all the list which is having like a name class geolocation which year it was landed all that stuffs it's in there and uh, NASA API have given a Socrata API foundry which is for a developer you can just to check it all the details regarding uh, further APIs all the stuff and they have even a API the API which is used in this project is as you can see over here which is have a, all the list of meter landings and uh, if you want to make further APIs you just need to register it's an easy simple process and uh, you can make an app token by yourself it's a uh, just a few details you need to enter like application name description organization all the stuffs that's it it doesn't even ask for a bundle identifier so that app token will be generated uh, in case if you're using further APIs I'm not going to do this in this project but it's a in case if you have more uh, to add more API you need this app token by yourself all right so this is the link uh, when you download the project uh, you can get open a when you open the project uh, folder you can see it like a nasa meteors dot workspace so you just double click over that so it will open a project as you can see on the screen so this project is having two sections so first is a slider view as you can see on the image I'll run it once again okay this is the image slider or a page slider which is having few four images which you can slide it it's the first section and the second section is all the table view with meteor landings so I will just take a look about the first section in image view or slider okay so as you can or when you open the project you can see like on board store on board folder and uh, which is having on board slide.xib as well so in the storyboard which is uh, this is with a storyboard and I have onboard slide.xib which is having the image label and the description label as well and uh, I have the image set already for my onboard storyboard and these are the outlets which I have used for slide central image main title and the subtitle 
and if you take a look on the onboard view controller it's all about uh, how I arranged the image and the label subtitle all these stuffs which is having a scroll view telecate all the functions which I have written over here and uh, this is the main create slider function which is on onboard storyboard which calls the image and the name title everything else is under this one and uh, at last uh, when you click on the get started dot action which is of the main table view it will go to the second section and in the second section what I have is with the as I mentioned early it is with a table view with a folding cell slider when you click it goes to the pin location of geolo of the map now just take a look around to what I have in the second section as you can see on the screen it's a, a main folder which is having main vc.c file all these things I have a model folder extension gif files all these things inside okay uh, if you check uh, look at the extension I have folding cell oh I just need to mention that the external li libraries which I used in this project is Alamo fire and uh, Ray motion folding cell the Ray motion folding cell library is fantastic one I suggest if you want to take a look around just go to the link which is having all the details on how to implement this uh, table view cell with folding cell it's a very good library I suggest you take a look around all right so in my project which I have is uh, I have used this folding cell dot zip file it's very simple I instead of port installation I just track the folding cell dot zip file and make further changes you just take a look in the library for more details all right so in my main dot storyboard I have as uh, as you can see on the screen uh, I made a table view with a one cell which it's a one cell which is I have given the name as demo cell and made the identifier all these things like a folding cell and in one single cell what I have done is in one single cell I have two views which one is a foreground view and the second one I have this container view which means when the app opens it will show only the foreground view as you can see this is the first view and the second view which is having the map location map view so that's what that's how it uh, I made in the domain dot storyboard and uh, with the uh, two views all right and uh, take a look at uh, what I have with the uh, model and assets I have few assets made already okay and uh, I have meteors dot uh, file which is which is having all the API as, as I have showed before this is the API which I have used to fetch all the meteor landing list all these stuff so so I made a struct model in order to call this API so it's just simple as pretty I just made struct meteors decodable I call all the variables for the ID name here all these stuffs and for geolocation I made another struct which is having all the details with the types coordinates which is of a latitude and longitude all right and uh, in as you can see in the struct model I have made a init which is having decoder and uh, in order to catch the error the reason why I made this model like this is if you take a look around this API there will be data or the model which is having a uh, null value which means the JSON string is even null which means in some cases it won't be having the name here or the mass geolocation is not provided for some meteors so in order to capture that uh, error I just made in a decoder which means it won't crash if you made the model in a different way it definitely will crash because just uh, the JSON uh, throws an error which is of null all right so just uh, I have this uh, demo dot cell which is having the close number label and open number label which is for when on touch foreground will be uh, will resign and uh, it will show up the second view which is having the main container view all right so I have the in my uh, 
main.zip file before going to main.zip file I have me you make use of this zip files which I've used it over here yeah these are the zip files which I've used in this project uh, it'll to make just to make uh, the project much more attractive that's it in case of UI all right and uh, take a look around uh, what I have in my main.zip file which is uh, first of all I have like uh, import with the uh, UI map kit Alamo fire all these stuff and I have a private uh, file which is uh, struct C which is a struct value for the cell height as I mentioned before in my first view which means like a foreground view I have set a close height of 165 and uh, for the second container view I have 400 as height for the second view there are two views as I said before all right and uh, I have these uh, data which uh, I initialize as an array which is for the meteors that's a model which I've created uh, I have meteor ID as an array meteor name all these stuffs I have given here as an initializer all right and then um, this enum constant which I mentioned before this is for the closed cell height and the open cell height uh, it's a static height which I've gone over here all right and uh, the rows count I have set it like thousand um, in the API it's more than 45,000 so I don't know I don't need to get all the 45,000 I just uh, made it like thousand values all right then I have the cell height of this close all these things like a thousand dot map all these stuffs this is the main function which I call the meteor landings API and uh, this is what what actually does is this is the URL which I've used to fetch uh, the NASA API meteor landings and uh, this is for Alamo fire request and the response which I can print it over here like uh, JSON you can if you want to want to print you can just print all the data so you will you can get it like this all right this will be the data and uh, what I'm doing inside that stuff is I'm taking all the array and fetching it to, into my uh, tutorial in the table view cell so this is for the response for the coordinates and uh, these are the values which I'm getting for the other stuff like meteor name, mass, latitude, longitude all these things I'm getting over here and uh, this is the private setup fun which is uh, for the UI which is having the table view estimated height all these stuffs and have indicator as well and uh, these things okay and I have in my extension with the table view delegate all these stuffs I'm returning the meteors dot count and uh, this is with that will display which is having the god cell for the folded and unfolded table view and these are the cells which is having fetching all the data and showing it over here and this is the section which is for the map location which is having all the latitude geolocation fetched and showing with a drop point and that's all this is and table view height row all these terms duration and at last I have given the extension for the UI search delegate uh, if in case if you want to make it in further procedure for the steps of modification with a search bar you can make use of this that's why I written here all right that's all in this project um, and I will, once more I will show you what uh, it does is like uh, all the if you run the project you'll be seeing like this when you click on the table view it will open a map with a pinpoint geolocation uh, one thing is if you try to run in a simulator it will definitely go through if in case if you're trying to run with a the real device uh, just make sure you just change with the team and the development certificate whatever necessary so that's all in this uh, video tutorial and uh, this is the basic NASA API app which is for a beginner or a fresher iOS developer so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more videos thank you very much